Hello everyone. Welcome to my channel. My name is Paul, an international medical graduate. In this video, I am going to talk about Medical Council of Canada, that is MCC, and licensing examinations like how to get medical license in Canada. Licensing process in Canada always seem to be complex, at least to me. So in this video, I will try to make it as simple as possible. If you like this video, please subscribe to my channel and turn on notification bell so that you don't miss any of my videos. Let's start off. So the function of MCC is to grant a qualification in medicine known as Licentiate of the Medical Council of Canada, that is LMCC to physicians. And the requirements are have to pass Medical Council of Canada qualifying examination part one and part two or other acceptable comparable exams. Also have to complete 12 months of acceptable postgraduate training or acceptable equivalent. But LMCC is not a license to practice medicine in Canada. Rather, it's a part of the Canadian standard for independent practice. So what does that mean by Canadian standard? These are academic qualifications that make up an applicant eligible for full licensure in every Canadian province or territory. That means a physician to become licensed to practice medicine in Canada may achieve full licensure only if they have certain criteria. What are those criteria? Have a medical degree, of course, from school listed in Medical Directory of Medical Schools and have LMCC also satisfactorily completed a discipline appropriate postgraduate training program and lastly have achieved certification from the College of Family Physicians of Canada or Royal College of Physicians and Surgeons of Canada depending on the training program. So as I said before, LMCC is not a license to practice medicine in Canada, rather it's the criteria of getting full licensure, I mean independent practice. It sounds like MCC provides the license for independent practice, but that's not true. The only authority to issue such is reserved to the medical regulatory authorities like College of Physicians and Surgeons of Ontario, British Columbia, Alberta, I mean provinces have their regulatory authorities. So when a candidate has satisfied the various requirements imposed by medical regulatory authorities, the final steps towards licensure to practice is to submit an application to the register of that medical regulatory authorities. Now let's focus on how to achieve all those four criteria. Number one criteria is medical degree from school listed in World Directory of Medical Schools. Secondly, as I mentioned before, to get the LMCC, we need to pass MCC Q1 and MCC Q2 examinations. But to get the third criteria, I mean to get a discipline appropriate postgraduate training program or residency as an international medical graduate, we need to pass National Assessment Collaboration Examination, also known as NAC exam. It's a kind of objective structured clinical examination and is only for IMG. To apply for residency position through Canadian Resident Matching Service, also known as CARMS. If you are interested to learn more about CARMS, hit the link in the description box. Here, the good thing is that if we can pass MCC Q1 and NEC exam and also get IELTS academics minimum seven in each band, we can apply for residency position through CARMS. Once we have the position, we can sit for MCC Q2 to get the LMCC. For your information, NAC is not a requirement for LMCC, but for residency application. So when we are done with residency training, we can sit for the certification exam, either College of Family Physicians of Canada or Royal College of Physicians and Surgeons of Canada, depending on the training program. That's how actually a physician can achieve all the four criteria and independent license. So the summary is medical degree that must be recognized in Canada. Secondly, pass MCC Q1. A few words here, like if anyone is at back home, he or she can take it as it can be taken at more than 500 test centers around the world, I guess 80 countries. Now, once anyone in Canada can sit for NAC examination as it is only offered in Canada. After that, at that point, should take the academic aisles get minimum seven in each band and apply for CARMS for residency position. Once anyone has the position, 
or without the position can apply for the MCC Q2 to get the LMCC. For your information, MCC Q2 is also only offered in Canada. Besides that, physicians can also get a provincial license to begin independent practice, which is called Practice Ready Assessment Program, offered by many provinces, and this is only for internationally trained physicians. To learn the details, please click the link in the description box. So how to start all this process? This is medical credential for verifications. This is what I will talk in my next video. Till then, stay connected. And please subscribe to my channel, turn on notification bell, comment, like, and share the video. I really appreciate your feedback. Thank you so much for watching.